I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm going to show you how to thread a sewing machine. It's super simple, but it's the very first step before you start sewing something, and it's so important that you're doing it properly because if you're not, it could totally not work. And you might think your sewing machine's broken, but it's not. It's probably just not threaded right. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all of the new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons so you can choose your own project, any project that you want. Book your time with me and I will help you from my design studio to your sewing space at home. So cool, right? And you can sign up for that through the website at SewAnastasia.com. There's also gonna be a link for that down below. Also, if you're in Chicago, you can come take a personal sewing lesson with me one-on-one -on -one, or join one of my group sewing classes. Also, we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers and I need all of your love and support to get us there. So make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with all of your friends and family so we can spread the love of sewing through Sew Anastasia. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Opal 670. This method for threading a sewing machine can be applied to any sewing machine though. So let's do it. Now grab your spool of thread and let's thread this sewing machine. For the Opal 670, the first thing we need to do is open up the lid because this is where we're gonna thread most of it. Your sewing machine, it could be flat on top of the machine. All sewing machines are a little bit different, but basically the same. So now we need to put our thread on. So for this machine, it's gonna go right on the little thread spindle here. We're gonna push it down so that way it's not gonna move around. And now we're gonna take our thread and put it on top. Next, take the thread from your spool and I want you to come down this flat metal disc here. And now we're gonna follow the groove of the sewing machine. Make sure you're not going in this tensionist because that's for winding a bobbin. So skip this and let's follow the groove in the sewing machine. And now when you come over to here, you can go on the right or the left side of this little piece of metal here. We're gonna come down. We're gonna come back up. And now you'll notice this little piece in here. There's a piece of metal, like a metal hook and a piece of plastic. You wanna come right in between the middle of those two. And if this isn't up, let's say maybe it's down and you can't see it, where'd it go? Just take your hand wheel and pull it towards you and it's gonna pop up. Next, we're gonna come to where the needle is. Now there's gonna be a hook or a guide of sorts above your needle and make sure your thread is going in that so that way it's guiding right above the needle. Now we're gonna take the tip of the thread and we're gonna put it through the eye of the needle front to back. So make sure you're not trying to stick the thread in back to front. So front to back and then when the thread pops out, go ahead and pull it through the eye of the needle now make sure the thread isn't wrapping around the needle or doing anything crazy. Make sure it's just coming straight down and through the eye of the needle. And your thread is always gonna go under your foot and to the back. So let's go over it real quick. We put our thread on and then we came over here. We went around the flat metal disc and now we're gonna follow that groove. And we went over and down and then we come back up. We go around that little piece, we come back down we went above the needle around this hook and then we went down and through the needle and put our thread under the foot. And that's it. That's how you thread a sewing machine. Super easy, but you've gotta make sure you're following all of those steps, otherwise it will not sew properly. This method is basically gonna be the same for all sewing machines. You might have one little different knob or gauge and it might look slightly different, but it's basically the same. You're coming over, you're going down, you're coming up, you're coming down, you're going above the needle and through the needle. You're now on your way to sewing. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. If you have any questions on how to thread your sewing machine, leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and give it some applause. 
Also, we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure you share this video with your family and friends and spread the love of Sew Anastasia sewing and creativity. It means so much to me. Speaking of just learning how to thread a sewing machine, I also teach sewing classes. So you can take a virtual sewing class with me where I will be in my design studio and you will be in your sewing room. And you can book that time with me on my website, which is down below at sewanastasia.com. Or you can come into the design studio in Chicago, Illinois and take a one-on-one -on -one personal lesson with me or join a small group class. So let's start your sewing adventure now. Also, I would love to see your sewing projects. So make sure you tag me at Sew Anastasia or shoot them over to me in my DMs on Instagram or Facebook at Sew Anastasia. So that way I can share them in my stories and my posts and keep sharing the creep. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.